Weather on the Threes is brought to you by Elite Exteriors, roofing, siding, windows, and gutters. And welcome back to the morning show and welcome back. The nice mild temperatures here. We're at 44 degrees. Average low is 26, so we're doing very well. Almost 20 degrees above average. And that's thanks in part to our light breeze out of the southeast at 9 miles an hour. Eventually, those southerly winds will kick in 10 to 20, gusting to 25. That'll help us reach highs today near 70. Pretty amazing here for now just about mid-March. 44 degrees right here in the Big O. A little bit cooler up to the north to Cama 31. Low to mid-30s around Wayne in North Fork, 30, one of the coldest spots we can find in Columbus. Otherwise, low to mid 40s from Plattsmouth, all the way down south through Falls City. Here's the current wind flow, mainly out of the south, 5 to 10 miles an hour. Once again, the winds will be picking up throughout the morning and by the afternoon. It's a pretty breezy afternoon. Winds out of the south, 10 to 25. All right, Viper HD, no issues here this morning. Clear, dry, nice and quiet. Couple of clouds mainly off to the south of town. And then, of course, here are all the problems which we've been kind of watching and looking at all week long. Here's the flooding rains. They continue yet again this morning. Catastrophic flooding. Eastern Texas, Louisiana. Now most of the state of Mississippi under the gun. Some of this area here between three and five inches of rain on the way for today and maybe some more for the weekend. Now it's all thanks to low pressure, which continues to scoop up moisture out of the Gulf and just lap it right across the Gulf Coast states. Flash flood watches up from Memphis through Jackson, New Orleans under the gun all the way back through Houston. Most of those watches and warnings will continue for the next 48 to 72 hours. Now, as far as our forecast, we could actually get impacted by this. Low pressure eventually kind of rolls up to the north through Memphis, and eventually it'll take a little turn here just off to the west of St. Louis, and it'll kick up a little band of moisture, mainly Saturday morning, Saturday afternoon, shutting off by Saturday evening. So the rainfall totals are not going to be huge, but considering it's been a pretty dry stretch of our weather here, this is about a tenth to two tenths of an inch of rain Saturday afternoon, Saturday evening, and then for the most part, the rain is pretty much over. We could still pick up an early morning Sunday shower. Otherwise, most of Sunday should be dry. So threat tracker today couldn't be nicer. It's in the green. We'll bump it up into the moderate zone for that good chance of rain, mainly just light to moderate showers Saturday morning, Saturday afternoon. Nothing severe, no thunderstorms even in the forecast, and then cloudy on Sunday with a threat of rain pretty much down to about 20 or 30 percent mainly early in the day. So today, a lot a lot of sunshine, highs near 70, breezy winds out of the south, certainly by late morning, early afternoon, 10 to 20, gusting upwards of 25. Tonight, cloud cover rolls in, lows down to 45 degrees, so kind of like this morning, cool but not that cold. Otherwise, tomorrow and Sunday, it's a cloudy weekend. Good chance of rain, especially Saturday afternoon. That's when I think most of it falls. 60% chance. Saturday, not a total washout and certainly not a washout on Sunday, with just that small chance of rain ending early Sunday morning. Cooler on Saturday, 60, back up to 68 on Sunday. Monday's looking pretty nice. Lots of sunshine, 73 degrees. Just a very small chance of a shower early in the morning or after 7 o'clock at night.